Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. And today I want to teach you how to make dramatic black and white portraits using calculations in Photoshop. If you want to learn how to do this, stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and today I want to edit a female portrait. The model is Miss Anne Mateo and there are many steps or many ways to make black and white portraits but for this tutorial I will be using the calculations in Photoshop. So first step is to click the image then calculations and then you can select the channel for the source 1 and for the source 2. So you have to experiment uh, changing this setting to your liking. So for example, I'll make or use gray for source 1. Then I'll use red for source 2. If you change this to blue, the portrait will become darker. So, I will choose red for now. So, the blending, make it multiply, and you can also adjust the opacity. So, I'll make it at around 80%. So it will make the picture more brighter. Then don't forget to put this on a new channel. So let's press OK. So this is the black and white conversion. So let's choose channel. As you can see, it produced an alpha 1 channel. So all you have to do is to copy this one by pressing ctrl a then pressing ctrl c then go back to the layers panel then press ctrl v sorry then ctrl v so another layer will appear for the black and white so for the next step is to make a vignette or vignette there are also many steps on making vignette so i'll make i'll teach you one step and this step is using gradient tool so select the gradient tool then select the radial then choose the black and white gradient on the upper leftmost corner. So after selecting this one, you make another layer by pressing Ctrl Shift N. So now let's Let's make a gradient. Let's apply the gradient. In making a gradient, you have to make the face as your focus. So to make this visible, adjust the opacity to around 60%. So this is just for us to see the portrait on the, on the other layer. So now you can see that the first layer, uh, the gradient is black on the middle and white in the outside. So you must invert this by pressing Ctrl, Ctrl I, this one. So as you can see, the thumbnail in this layer is white on the middle and black on the outside. So all you have to do is change the layer blending mode into multiply. So 
So as you can see, the vignette adds drama to your portrait. So after putting the vignette, you may change back the opacity to 100% again. So this depends on your liking. If you want uh, the vignette to be subtle, you can adjust the, the opacity to around 80%. For me, I will choose 88%. I think this is enough. So the next step is to use the curves adjustment layer. The curves adjustment layer will adjust your contrast, the total brightness of your photo. So let's adjust the contrast. Let's add a little black. So it's really uh, it's really an advantage if you will learn how to use the curves adjustment layer. So for now, I will choose this one. So we're almost done. So the last step is to use dodge and burn. The dodge and burn will highlight your portrait. Let's make another layer. We will duplicate the black and white layer by pressing Ctrl J. I duplicated the, the layer because in case I made a mistake, I can adjust this layer and it will not affect the original layer. So let's name this layer Dodge and Burn. So in portraits, I usually dodge the contour of the face especially the eyes, the nose, and the lips. And if there are shiny parts of the body, like in this example, I need to, uh, to apply dodge on her shoulders. So let's do this now. Choose on the left side of the tool, the dodge tool. Then you can press the bracket key to adjust your tool to make it smaller or or larger so for now i will make the size similar to the eyes i will make it a little smaller than the eyes then i will apply then i will apply dodge one two three four five then for the lips, let's apply also some dodging. As you can see, after I applied the dodge on the eyes and the lips, you can really see the improvement. So another place I can dodge is the nose. And in this particular model, she has some highlights on the hair. So I can also make use of the dodging. and some parts of her body in this case I will put some dodging on her shoulders and back so if you are not uh, if you want to make the effect more subtle you can adjust the opacity of this layer That's it guys, we're finished. As you can see, we can make dramatic black and white portraits under 5 minutes. 
by using calculations in Photoshop. If you like this video, please support us by clicking the like button. Please subscribe to our channel for more photography related videos like this. Thank you guys. See you again and God bless.